Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we have a video that has been done before, sure, but I had some time to kill so I figured why not. It's BuzzFeed showing their true racist colors. Would that be a pun? Anyway, it's the good old video about 24 questions racists have for white people. So, dear snowflakes, bring it on. Enjoy. Why do you always make such horrible decisions in horror movies? It's not cool to split up. Come on, people, you're not even trying here. That question has got nothing to do with race. I didn't realize. Ah! Why do you freak out when black people are cast to play white fictional characters? We don't. The more pertinent question would be why you freak out all the time about who's playing what. What's the big deal if Idris Elba plays James Bond? I would go see it twice. Yeah, that probably won't be enough though. You'll probably have to go see it five times to make up for your lack of size in your demographic. Sorry. On the other hand, nobody's opposed to this. Let this guy play James Bond for all I care. Why is a big butt and big lips considered attractive on a white woman, but they're unattractive on a black woman? They're unattractive on all women, you fuckhead. Get out of the frame, lard ass. Do y'all really think Miley is the one who created twerking? Don't really care who created twerking, except for the fact that that person should be taken out and shot in the back of the head. Twerking is by far the most unattractive thing a woman can do. But hey, that's just my opinion. Why am I supposed to teach you how to twerk? I don't know how to twerk. Good. No one wants to see you twerk. Gotta tell you though, not your look. Why is it that white people always act as though they have discovered a new trend when people of color have been doing it for virtually years? What are you even talking about? Are you talking about retard white guys doing gang signs or something? Why is it when a black woman wears her hair natural, it's seen as inappropriate, but when a white woman does, it's praised? Gee, I don't know, maybe their hair isn't big enough to actually encroach on other people's personal space? What do you think? He's a barber. Look into your house? Yeah. This is the hair that I was born with, so you wearing it as a trend is not cute. Yeah, that'll happen. Like, can you appropriate my student loans? Can you take that off my hands? Tell you what, I'll instruct the patriarchy to depreciate your student loans when you stop complaining about shit that didn't even happen to you, like slavery. Why is it that white crime is seen as an isolated incident, but black crime is a representation of my entire community? Maybe because your community glorifies thug life? What do you think, teleprompter guy? Or how about when they chant for the killing of cops? When we see a story on TV about a white serial killer, I don't automatically assume that all white people must be serial killers too. Well, maybe you should, because as far as I know, most serial killers are white. That's just a statistical fact, just like most murderers are black. Of course, that doesn't mean all, it's just a statistical probability. Why does talking about race make you feel so uncomfortable? It doesn't. I was just finishing up a lovely brunch. No, tuna. Is it because you think that you'll be perceived as racist? You know, I couldn't really care less about what you perceive us to be. We're way past that. You don't really believe that racism is over because we have a black president, do you? Yes, that is pretty much the definition of racism being over, you dipshit. Why is it so easy for you to notice when there are no white people around? but you hardly ever notice when there are no black people around. I don't know, you tell me, Einstein. You seem to be the great expert on noticing race all the time. Why is your goal to be colorblind? And there's so many different types of people in the world, yet you can't see color? Hey, moron! Fucking moron! For fuck's sake, you guys. Being colorblind is a philosophy you adopt to combat racism. I can't believe I have to explain this shit to you people. You know that bitter taste in your throat? kind of wrapped around your uvula. That's what's left of your pride. Why do you want to say the N-word so badly? We don't, you fucking dolt. Anytime you hear that word, you can rest assured it was uttered by a black person. I don't use it. What makes you think you can? Now you're making me want to use it, you fucking dildo. You're not the boss of me. Why do you always want to touch our hair? No one wants to touch your fucking hair. Why do you feel like having one black friend makes you a cultural expert or not a racist? Hey, it's teleprompter guy. No one thinks that. 
Next. Is your only black friend comfortable with being the reason why you can't be racist? I don't know. Let's ask Tyler Preston, everyone's best black friend. Do you see how stupid that question is? By that logic, then I'm not racist. I have a ton of white friends. Is that like an imperial ton or is that metric? Yeah, but you're a social justice warrior and we know you're all insanely racist. Why do you feel comfortable cursing at your parents? Yeah, cause no black person has ever done that. Why do you kiss your dogs on the mouth? The fuck are you talking about? How come you can't pronounce black names like Kuvanjane? but can say names like Schwarzenegger, Galifianakis, and LaBeouf just fine. Because they're more famous, fuckhead. Why do you feel like all lions lives matter, but black lives don't? I couldn't care less about fucking lions. Are you serious? No, of course you're not. Why is a lion's life in Africa more important than the lives of black people here in America? Well, lions don't have a terrorist organization in the country for one thing. What does Simba ever do for you? Well, now that you mention it, he did make kind of a good movie. I get it. Lion King was an awesome movie. Yeah, like I said, asshole. But so was Selma, and so was Malcolm X. No, they weren't. I'll be honest with you, Bob. My name's not Kirk. It's Skywalker. Luke. Skywalker. Why is it so hard for you to acknowledge your privilege? Because I'm not a stark raving mad ideologue. How does it feel to not be the spokesperson for your entire race at any given time? Oh, you're the spokesperson for your entire race? Okay, asshole, I think we need your email address. Must be nice. Yes, it is very nice not being retarded. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for tonight, so thanks for watching and see you next time. So, lunch anyone? <laughs>